Our story begins at the outbreak of the infection. A group of scientists believe they have found the cure for the sickness and rush to escape by the only means possible. The Ulyanovsk, a Yasen-class submarine docked at the facility. Bullets fly and explosions rock the dockside as the soldiers wage a desperate battle. Their goal is simple, buy the scientists enough time to start the submarine's reactor and submerge. The submarine navigates through the shallow waters near the coastal facility. The research team rushed to secure the samples. Here was the cure, and it was determined by Russian high command that it must never leave the facility. They were unaware that they were being hunted. Russian naval aviation pounded the water with ordnance. The submarine racing for deeper waters is hit time and time again. The scientists carrying the knowledge that this is humanity's last chance of survival. Almost crippled, the submarine manages to dive like a great pelagic shark, silently into the dark. Ulyanovsk is not seen or heard from until one day a rogue F-16 belonging to the former United States Air Force flying over the Bering Sea looking for survivors notices something in the water. It is the Ulyanovsk. It's a reactor at full steam pushing the submarine towards an unknown destination. It doesn't respond to any radio calls. The F-16 pilot is puzzled, but is low on fuel and disengages. The submarine pushes towards its ultimate destination, the island of Namalsk, and this is where my adventure begins. Here I am, on the coast of Namalsk. I've made it thus far. I have to find weapons, food, supplies to make it northeast to the last known location of the Ilyanovsk. And I found a weapon, a magnum, straight out of Dirty Harry, but I'm gonna need a bit more. Hopefully there are more, no more people around. The Namalsk island was shut off during the pandemic, but we don't know what happened afterwards because it always looks like there's nobody around. Hopefully the Ulyanov submarine will uncover its secrets. And I think I spoke too soon. I heard shots in the direction of that bay over there. Maybe there's somebody around. Will they be friendly? Well, probably not. So I'm going to have to make my way to the city of Vorkuta, where hopefully there'll be more supplies, more weapons, some more ammunition, and more hope. But of course, this is Daisy. You can't count on anything. So here we are on the outskirts of the city of Vorkuta. It looks fairly abandoned to me. I don't hear any sounds, except that of the dead or the infected. It's quite a sizable city. And yes, I heard more shots, but they're more distant. We'll try and loot this military tent here, over here. Ah, 
perfect. We found an SKS. If I can find some ammunition for it, we're good to go. This is going to be a very effective weapon. And, oh, that's a fancy looking water bottle. Let's see if I can get it out of the belt. Yep, that's good. Certainly heard shots, but I'm going to venture further in and see if I can uh, find some more gear. I haven't seen any infected so far either. Just some strange advertisements. Bardak. I wonder what that is. Well, there's some shops up ahead. Maybe... Okay, and here we are at the police station. Eerily quiet, but I can feel the echoes of those who lived here. Ghosts of the dead long gone. You can still feel them here. And they've left bits and pieces for us to use. Jail cell. Let's go upstairs. Nothing in these rooms. Yeah, let's go upstairs. Anything in here? Just some old magazines. Discard your gun sight. That might be useful. Somehow I can still hear those shouts and screams. Hmm, a gas grenade. And a smoke grenade. Should be useful. I can hear the infected outside though. It's not a good sign. Let's go up to the roof. Scout out the area. Well, let's just check these offices first. Hmm. This looks like a fine day. Strange, isn't it? Ah, building supplies. Oh, an operator shirt. That'll be better than my um, pea coat. Not much of a fashion statement. Still haven't found much in the way of food. More zombies. This is not good. I'm gonna have to use my pistol. I hope nobody hears me. Do you feel lucky, punk? Okay. Oh, vest. Not much to look at. Not much protection either, but it'll give me some storage space until I find a backpack. More ammunition. It's all 762 by 54. Let's see if I can creep up on this uh, camp over here. I'm sure somebody would have uh, heard those shots. It's not going to make life easy if somebody pops up. Uh, I don't want to get into a fight at this time. I just need to find my way north and onto the ice sheet. Oh, a bison. Hmm. Damaged, but it's not too bad. And I've got a suppressor. Oh. I think somebody heard me. Yeah, somebody's definitely got to have heard me now. I think I should start moving after I bandage my wounds up. There's more infected on the way. Ouch. Let's uh, loot these other tents and just get moving. I can still hear them. Oh, well, that's a good a scorpion. Oh, nice. A proper helmet. Surprised that survived this long. A 
thought I heard something. Or is it just a tent flapping in the wind? Yeah. Alright. <laughs> yeah, I'm not taking that. Should I swap my jacket out? Yeah, it's a Gorka. Uh, it's probably better than my um, shirt. Wow, these goats are so tame. They'd make good eating. I'm sorry, buddy. But I need food. This will help me on my mission. If I can find the Ulyanovsk. And end this whole thing. Find a cure for this sickness. Everything I can remember has been after the event. And life can go back to the way it was before. I made it up this hill. There's a little town below there. I can scout out uh, the surroundings. You can see the city, the industrial area. And a small town below me, which um, might be relatively unlooted. Still want some more gear and possibly a backpack. I still haven't run into anybody, and I've been actively avoiding any shots that I heard. But this town here, I think there's nobody. At least I didn't hear anything. I'm not even infected. Maybe there's some good loot. I'll probably... This is going to be the last place I loot before I make my journey across the ice. As long as the weather holds up, and it's still daylight. Let's see what these uh, houses have in store for us. Um, it's still really silent. Which is a good thing. Unless somebody's waiting for me inside. Oh, we found another SKS. Oh, this one has a scope. I think I might swap mine out. Just change it for the scope. Of course, I need to get all the bullets out. Ammunition is very, very valuable here. It's the difference between life and death. I'll just swap the scope out. And I've got a pristine SKS. Nice. Alright, let's get out of here. So, loot the remaining buildings. Let's see what we got here. Some more food. Oh, nice. A Mosin. Oh, that's that's just what I need. I've got plenty of ammo for it. I think I've got a scope as well. Just gonna swap things out so I've got some more room. Oh, that's good. Nice. Yeah, I don't want the um, bayonet. Oh, feels good. Got a scope. Locked and loaded. Yep, that looks good. Now let's keep moving. This town has turned up a couple of good surprises. Let's see what we got up here. Wait a second, I heard something. I could have sworn I heard something. Somebody outside. Was it infected? I could have sworn I heard something. Distant shot, but no, something was much closer. Something or someone. I could have sworn it. Just keep listening. I knew it. There's somebody out there. Crap. Where did he go? 
Where did he go? God damn it, I lost him. I have two options here. I go out, push him. Maybe take him out. But he looked like he had gear. He had a weapon. Right now, my mission is not to engage any enemy. Any players at all, actually. I just need to make it to the dam of Lyanovsk. What do I do? Should I risk it? Is he alone? Is the other question. I might have somebody else flanking behind me. Alright. Uh, I'm just going to watch this door for a bit. If nothing happens, I'm just going to run out now. And uh, try to get out of here. Make it back up that hill. Um, if I put some, uh, some distance between me and the town, I might be able to use my Mosin uh, to effect. Hopefully he didn't see me leaving. And if I can make it back up there, I should be safe. Back on high ground. I can head back up north. Oh no. I knew it. He saw me. Please don't hit me. God damn it. I'm hit. If I can just make it beyond these rocks, I should be safe. Maybe I should have pushed him. Maybe I should have tried to take him out. Split second can change your life on Daisy. I don't think I made it. I can see the ice sheet ahead. But I'm bleeding. I'm bleeding and I'm hungry. Yeah, even a small mistake in Daisy can cost your life. And the lives of others. something in the air. Something strange. There's something strange in the air right now. I can hear th thunder and lightning. But the air feels heavy. It feels very foreboding. Look at this thunderstorm. That's so strange. Right now it's, it's quite frightening. Oh my god, what's happening? What's happening? Everything is so heavy. Why is it all red? That sound. What is that? I feel as if I'm here, yet I'm not here. I feel... I feel a deep sense of... of terror. And foreboding. What? What is going on here? What is going on? What should I do? Should I hide? Should I just stay up here? Will it end? What has been going on here in Namalsk? Something has been seriously messing around here. Okay, I'm back up. Thank God, I thought I died. What the hell was that? The air is still very thick. It's all red still. I think it's lightening up. I need to get out of here. I need to get out of here now. I need to find that submarine. I need to find it. I need to find out what the hell happened and what the hell is happening here. I'm just going to make up a quick fire. I need to warm up, cook some food. I'm right at the edge of the ocean, near the ice sheet. But I won't survive long if I'm going to be cold and wet and hungry. Because I've got to swim across the narrow channel between the ice sheet and the shore. Uh, this is where that goat I shot earlier comes in handy. Hmm. Yep, it's going to have to last me for the whole trip. To the submarine and possibly back. That feels good, though. I made it this far. Managed not to get killed. It's the most important thing in Daisy. Make sure you don't get killed. Oh, what was that? Was that me making that noise? It's probably just me. No, there's somebody here. 
That was close. Was that the same guy at that town? Just gonna check it out. But I think I need to make my move now. I need to get on that ice sheet and I need to get moving. Let's make sure we're clear though. A shot came from those houses over there. It was just a single shot. Maybe it was just killing zombies. I don't see anybody. But that doesn't mean eh, nobody's there. Oh, the ice sheet is just a few hundred meters away from me. I gotta make it now. It's gonna be now or never. Once I'm on the ice sheet, all I gotta do is run. There's not gonna be any cover. There's not gonna be any shelter until I make it to that submarine. And if I don't find it, I'm certainly gonna die out there. I need to move now into the icy water and across. All right, made it across. It's crunchy snow. All right, let's let's make sure we've got nobody on our rear. If he tries to take a shot at me, I'm gonna have to shoot back. Okay, it looks clear. Let's keep moving. Let's keep moving. It looks very empty out here. Desolate. I can hear the crashing of the waves. And there, I see it. I see a boat. Frozen. It's not the submarine, though. Let's keep moving. It's the last body of water I'll have to cross. There it is. I think I see it. It has to be. It has to be it. In the distance. See Ulyanovsk. I'm getting closer. Just beyond that ridge. I should be able to see it. When the sun's setting, I have to be quick. There it is. After all this time, all this effort. All the lives lost. I found it. Submarine that was long lost. Holding the secret and the key to a cure. It's intact. It looks much older than I would have imagined. Jutting out of the ice. Looks like um, the crew would have survived. They built some structures outside, but I need to get inside. I need to find out what happened. I need to find out if there is a cure, if there is any hope. The Steel Hulk, I'm just gonna have it inside. All the missile doors are closed. Is the hatch still open? wonder if anybody's been here recently. Let's go inside. Feels more like a tomb than a living vessel. Looks and feels much older than what we've been told. Everything is rusted. It's just the sound of the wind outside, and the creaking ice. There's some gear here, though. I'm wondering if somebody's been here since, um, since it, it surfaced here, or since it was abandoned. It looks abandoned. The gear here is old. According to these documents, there was no cure. The crew was just trying to escape, and in doing so, they brought the sickness to Namalsk. But even more terrifying are the dates in these documents. According to them, the submarine surfaced here more than 200 years ago. How long has the world been like this? It looks like my journey here in Namalsk is only beginning.
Make sure to watch our other adventures and keep subscribed and notified for the next one.